I'm Darren Marlar. Welcome to the Daily Dose of Weird News, the only YouTube show that is closed captioned for the mentally impaired. This episode is brought to you by the audiobook Could It Be True? Volume 1 – Urban Legends by Cindy Parmeter. Hear a free sample of this creepy and true audiobook at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. A Delaware-sized iceberg is reportedly on the verge of splitting off from the Antarctica shelf. Man, it's almost as if it was waiting for Trump to announce relieving the Paris Climate Agreement so it could make a run to freedom. Kathy Griffin is said to be disappointed that CNN's Anderson Cooper chose not to stand by her after she was fired from the New Year's Eve broadcast with Cooper, which they've done together now for 10 years. Oh, yeah, Kathy, have you not seen the recordings of that yearly disaster? Anderson spent a solid 10 years looking mortified at your antics. Police in Washington state arrested two Papa John's employees Friday for allegedly selling cocaine out of the restaurant. A King County Sheriff's Office spokesperson says they'd order pizza and go out and wait in the parking lot. The employee would bring the pizza out and in the box would be the cocaine. Apparently, the code phrase was to say, give it extra olives when ordering. Authorities seized cocaine, ecstasy, marijuana, oxycodone, LSD, meth, and $28,000 in cash. Better ingredients, better pizza. Papa John's. Sixth grader Ananya Vinay outspelled 291 spellers from across the country and the globe to become this year's Scripps Spelling Bee champion. Ananya Vinay won by correctly spelling the words Ananya Vinay. A woman in Germany who hid her life savings in a vacuum cleaner dust bag just because she doesn't trust banks? Well, she nearly lost all of it when her cleaning woman threw the bag out. The woman managed to get her $113,000 back after she called the local trash collection service, which sent a team to sift through tons of garbage to find the bag. Not only does she not trust banks, now she doesn't trust cleaning ladies or vacuums. Google is facing a $9 billion European Union fine for rigging search results. You can find out more by Googling Google is Innocent. Kellogg's is closing several distribution centers and laying off a thousand workers. So if anybody's in need of a cartoon tiger to promote their product, well, there's one standing in the unemployment line. And he is great! New Westminster Animal Shelter in New Westminster, British Columbia, Canada received a very generous donation from the estate of a teacher and animal lover. And what's strange is that the late Daryl Mutz never even visited the shelter. But the New Westminster Animal Shelter is grateful anyway for Mutz's $275,000 donation. Now, I wonder if Daryl was an animal lover like I'm a lover of kids. You know, I enjoy them, but only in short doses and on a case-by-case -case basis. Lindsay Lohan is launching her own jewelry line. The jewelry is expected to be very impressive and desirable in the beginning, but then quickly lose its luster and long for the days when it was relevant. An American Airlines jet trying to take off in San Antonio veered off the runway and became stuck in the mud. The pilot said he had no choice – it was either that or collide with Harrison Ford. A brush fire on the side of a Phoenix freeway didn't burn for long thanks to the help of an unlikely hero – Jared Ayton. He's a carpet cleaner who was on his way home from a job when he spotted the fire burning on the side of the road. He thought, man, I wish I could help or do something. And then he remembered that he had a tank full of water inside his carpet cleaning van. He pulled over and got to work, using what was left of the water. By the time fire crews arrived, the flames were out. Once the firefighters arrived, Jared told them, I've done your job, now you do mine. Here's the address to Mrs. Newman's house. She has some dog poop stains on her carpet. Get to it! Newspaper circulation has dropped to a 77-year low. Well, duh. I mean, home delivery of the New York Times is over $250 a year. That's a lot of dough just for something to line the birdcage and litter box with. Have you signed up for the Marler Sheet? It's free, and everyone who subscribes is automatically entered into monthly drawings for prizes. You can sign up for the Marler Sheet free at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. 
and click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. And if you're already an official weirdo, please share this video on your own social media. Find even more weird news that I didn't have time for on the Facebook page at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!